Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we are in the geography skills section that precedes chapter one in our Pearson, My World, uh, Indiana History uh, text. I'm on pages IN30 and IN31, and our learning targets today are to A, learn how maps show direction and distance, and B, learn how to better use uh, text features in a nonfiction text to help us uh, understand the concepts better. So I'm on page IN30, and as you can see, the heading on top of the page says that maps show direction. That's what the body of this text right here is going to uh, explain in detail, how maps show direction. Let's read a couple sentences. It says, maps show real directions. A compass rose is a symbol that shows direction on a map. So that piece of information uh, gives us a, a vocabulary word that we have to learn about. It's a symbol that shows directions on a map. So I'm going to look at the map, and I'm going to look for any symbols. Uh, well, there's a lot of information going on in this map, so maybe I need to read further. It says, there are four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. North points towards the North Pole and is marked with an N. Well, with that little extra piece of information, I bet I can find the compass rows. And, yep, there is a symbol right there that has an N on it. That must be our compass rose. Now, a compass rose is called a rose because it kind of looks like a flower. A compass rose is always going to help you orientate yourself uh, when you're looking at a map. North is always pointed to the top of the page on a map, regardless of where that place is in the world. Uh, so I'm looking at that uh, cardinal rose. And now I can kind of uh, figure out where things are relative to the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. On the compass rose, it's organized north, then east, south, and west. So cardinal directions are always going to tell you where you are relative to somewhere else on the map. Let's read further. It says that north points towards the North Pole and is marked with an N. South points to the South Pole and is marked with an S. It says look at the compass rows on the map below. In addition to showing the cardinal directions, it shows directions that are midway between them. These are the intermediate directions. Inter means between. So if I am thinking about a direction that falls between north and and east, right here, I would use the two names to help describe it. So this point on the compass rows that is between the north and the east would be called northeast. And that's how we would name each of these intermediate uh, directions. There's southeast, that's between south and east. There's southwest, and then there's northwest. North and south will always be the first cardinal direction when you are putting together an intermediate direction. Now, it's through the text features that the text helps make more sense to us when we are looking at this map. As we are thinking about that compass rose, uh, it helps us uh, understand what I'm looking at a little bit better. So let's look at uh, this map and some of the embedded questions. It says, identify Indiana, circle it on the map. So I have to find Indiana. Now, as you know, Indiana is abbreviated I-N. That's why our pages are numbered this way. So i got to find the state that says I-N. Now, if you're ever wondering how to find Indiana on a map, there's an easy way to do it. Indiana is shaped like a boot, and the boot is always below the mitten of Michigan, okay? So here's Michigan right here. It looks like a mitten. Here's Indiana. It looks like a boot. So now that we've identified where Indiana is, we can now answer the next question, and it says, 
using cardinal and intermediate directions, describe the location of Indiana in the United States. So the United States is a large country. So if I were to take an imaginary line and cut it in half, like so, and then cut it again horizontally, like so, uh, I would look to see where Indiana Falls re uh, related to the cardinal direction. So as you can see, Indiana is in the part of the country that is on the northern half, and it's on the eastern side. So more of Indiana is in the north, right here, and there's the south, and it's on the east side. So to describe where Indiana is using those cardinal directions, I would write northeast. Okay? Now, if you're not sure how to spell a particular word, you are always welcome to consult the text. Here are the four cardinal directions. North, south, east, and west. And because north, east are the two words I'm looking for, that's what I highlighted. So down here, I'm going to use the text to help me spell Indiana is in the north east part of the United States. I abbreviated U.S. right there. So that's how a map shows direction. Now let's take a look real quick at how a map shows distance. I'm now on page 31. It says, A map is a very small drawing of a large place. However, you can find real distances in miles or kilometers from one point to another on Earth by using a map scale. A map scale shows the relationship between distance on the map and distance on Earth. So if you look at this map right here, this map has a close-up of part of the United States, and as you can see, they have a map scale on the corner. It shows that that green little distance right here from zero... So this mark right here is uh, 100 miles. The entire distance to the here is 200 miles. Okay. Now that's a different scale. than you would see on this map because this doesn't just show the southern part of the eastern side of the United States. It shows the entire country. And when you look up here, the scale is different. It shows that this amount of distance is actually the equivalent of 400 miles. So when you compare one map to another, this map's scale is largely tw uh, uh, twice as big as the other map. Okay, so they have to represent uh, they have to represent how much of a close-up you're looking at. Okay, you will see maps of particular spaces within a state, say uh, a map of Hamilton County, uh, where we live in Carmel, or maybe a map of the city itself, or maybe just a map uh, within a neighborhood. Maps will show a scale depending on how close up or how, how far away we see the, in the entire picture. So here's your job for today. You're going to reread page 30, and then you're going to read the text on page 31, and then navigate the questions down here at the bottom. These embedded questions I want you to answer on your own, and as you are reading, please pay attention to the vocabulary that is highlighted. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thank you.